to the channel guys we've got some more radio experiments with mr lewis ringway manchester today so we're going to try some long distance vhf you can see here the vhf band two meter band is actually quite oh, there's actually a few few stations around um a bit of id there stuff like that so lewis is actually going to head to a pretty high location and we're going to try um, to make contact there's quite a bit of distance between us line of sight so what we're going to first do is we're going to head over to a repeater um, the one we've been using the one we used in the last video was gb30y so we're going to start off comms on there and then move to a vhf channel to see if we can actually kind of make a bit of contact it's a pretty clear day out there today i've got the mast up as high as it will go because it's not windy either so yeah we stand quite a good chance let's give him a shout on the repeater M3HHY M6JKA. Lewis, you there, yeah? Yeah, I'm just receiving. Just um, sat on a bench at Parliament Hill, overlooking the city. Lovely, you absolutely lovely signal in. Um, fully quietening, no problem at all. Yeah, so are you. Repeat is um, sounding good as well. What's that? Do you reckon um, we won't be able to do simplex because there's a hill there? Yeah, that's right, yeah. We can still give it a go. We'll still give it a go though. Actually, I can't remember where you changed to the um, input on this one. I could see if I could hear you on the input. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, okay, I'll just have a look. M6JK. Um, yeah, so I've, I've, I've done a workaround. I'll just put it in the VFO. So I don't know if you want to give us, give us a little count. I'll see if I can um, flick to the input and see if I can hear you. Yeah, okay. So one, two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's definitely something there. That's pretty interesting, right, I'm going to flip back. Yeah, M6 JKA returning. Um, yes, mate, I can hear you on the input very, very, very low, but you are there, so I reckon um, two metres would be, I reckon you'd stand a chance. Okay, let's try 525. Five. We can't do it, we'll come back here. There he is. Yeah, M, oh, hang on, I've got some noise coming from somewhere else. Right, M3 HHY M6 JKA, yeah, copy. Browers, that's unbelievable. Hang on, let me just turn this other radio off, it's interfering. Yep, no worries. Yeah, right, okay, right, we're back. So, um, yeah, go again, I'll just see what the signal meter reads. Yeah, M3HHY, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Portable. Mobile, sorry, on Parliament Hill. Yeah, Rog, well, you're about, um, you're about a three, so like four and three, something like that. You're, you know, absolutely readable though, no problem at all. Right, I lost you for the end of that, so you might need to um, make sure the antenna's up, up sort of at uh, arm's height or something like that. Um, or, or just try and zone into where my signal's strongest and then, then yours should be the same coming back. Just try and get the best best path, Rog. Yeah, Rog, I didn't hear much. How's that now? Oh uh, yeah, maybe it's conditions or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're all right now. I might actually move over to the, I'll go to the ICOM actually, um, and see see what it's like on there. Okay, right, I've got the ICOM 7A5 powered up. We've plugged into the external power so we can do 10 watts on this one. Um, right, let's give him a shout. M3 HHY M6 JK, right, you got me there Lewis. M3 HHY M6 JKA, you still there Lewis? That's strange. He's there. Well, give us a, give us a quick over, Rudge. Okay, right. I'm going to flick back to the other radio. That's an eye opener. Why would that be so different between those two radios? I mean, these are sort of both high level radios. Yeah, M3 HHY M6JKA. Have you got me now? Okay, yeah, because I was on the ICOM, I was just on the ICOM just now, now I'm on the ASU, so what's better, Rog? Um, the original from the first radio you were on. Yeah, so I'm back, I'm back on that same radio, 
so maybe something's changed with the conditions as well i don't know but yeah you weren't sounding as good on the icom as you are on the on the yasu though so that's interesting another station coming He's got recognised. He's got recognised from YouTube. I'm going to plug in my extension speaker actually here. That's a bit better. So we're using the SP30. We've moved back to OY now because I think something was going on. It was, there's some strange conditions happening. <laughs> M6JK returning. Yeah. Um, awesome mate about the views and stuff like that that is really really good so not a bad little contact with lewis there 16 miles away and i mean from handel to base station that is that's pretty impressive i mean you've got to be up a hill to be doing this sort of thing um line of sight wise there's quite a lot of stuff in between us but yeah 16 miles that is not bad at all and that's just with five watts and of course with lewis's setup he's just using you know the same as that which is basically just like a a helical that isn't really that efficient on two meters but they do work quite well on my side i've got quite a lot of gain on the antenna so that's helping bring the signals in but yeah still impressive